Today, we have some breaking news from the Kardashian clan that has sent shockwaves through social media. It seems like Kourtney Kardashian is calling out her sister, Chloe, after Chloe seemingly admitted feeling guilty about buying her son through a surrogate mother. This revelation has sparked controversy among fans and raised questions about the Kardashian family's approach to surrogacy. So let's break it all down and dive into the details. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any updates. Let's get started. All right, let's start with what exactly Chloe said about surrogacy on the latest episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Chloe revealed that she's been struggling to bond with her son, Tatum, who was born via a surrogate. She expressed feeling guilty and described the experience as transactional, as if she was buying the baby from the surrogate mother. I felt really guilty that like this woman just had a, my baby and you're just, I take the baby and then I go to another room and you're sort of separated. like. I felt it's such a transactional experience. These comments from Chloe sparked a huge controversy among fans. Some praised her for being honest and shedding light on the emotional complexities of surrogacy, while others criticized her for using such personal matters as a storyline for the show. One particular concern is how close statements might affect her son Tatum once he's old enough to watch the show. Fans are divided on the issue, with some speculating that Chloe never truly wanted another baby and only went through the surrogacy process in hopes of keeping Tristan Thompson from cheating. But did Chloe really buy Tatum to stop Tristan from leaving? Let's dig deeper and examine the different perspectives. Now, let's shift our focus to Kourtney Kardashian's response to Chloe's comments about surrogacy. I think in our family a lot, it's like, we know how to celebrate together. We know how to have fun together. We know how to help each other back up almost on like a superficial level. Reports suggest that Courtney is upset with Chloe for using this sensitive topic as a storyline on the reality show without considering the long-term impact it may have on her son. Courtney reportedly feels uncomfortable with how both Chloe and Kim were quick to opt for surrogacy without fully considering the effects on the baby and the surrogate mother. Courtney's disappointment with her sisters stems not only from their approach to surrogacy, but also from the fact that Chloe openly admitted feeling like the surrogacy was a transactional experience. Commercial surrogacy, which involves payment to the surrogate mother, is illegal in most parts of the world due to concerns about exploitation and the psychological impact on both the surrogate and the baby. A baby with someone who's having a baby with somebody else, because I'm not that much of a sociopath. <clears throat> I'm a lunatic, but not like that deranged. Fans are voicing their concerns about the Kardashian women's treatment of surrogacy as a means to an end, with some claiming that they prioritize girls over boys due to their perceived marketability. Additionally, many fans are criticizing Chloe for not fully considering the consequences of her decisions and for relying heavily on Kim's influence rather than seeking advice from other family members, such as Courtney. It's worth noting that Kim Kardashian, who has been open about her own surrogacy journey, played a significant role in encouraging Chloe to explore this option. However, fans are now questioning Kim's motives, claiming that she may have a detached and somewhat sociopathic perspective on surrogacy, as evident in her comments on the show. But a surrogate process, Kim knows, it's really hard for me. Well, what does that mean? She had a really hard time accepting the whole uh, process. Got it. To my n it's really the right, worst thing. Could... People can connect in different ways. People so could not connect. Do you feel less connected? Mm-hmm. That'll take a minute. Yeah, people say it'll I take mean, a minute. I mean, listen, the other was said 10 hers, months of hers walking was around. Like, easy. This is not easy. Baby is in your belly. The baby actually feels your real heart. Think about it. Right. It like touches your organ. Like it's feel there's no one else on this planet that will feel you from the inside like that, like your heart. But Fans argue that Kim's statement seemed insensitive and dismissive of close struggles, given that she herself had previously championed the benefits of surrogacy. This contradiction has left fans questioning Kim's authenticity and intentions. If it wasn't for Kimberly, I definitely don't think I would have been as You wouldn't have been aware. I wouldn't have been aware. Yeah. I wouldn't have known as much. I watched her go through her journey, and 
I'm so grateful for how open she's always been about her journey. Fans are also pointing out that Chloe had all the resources to educate herself about surrogacy, including consulting professionals who could have provided a better understanding of the process. Therefore, her statement about wishing someone had been more honest with her is raising eyebrows, especially since she claimed that Kim had been open about her own surrogacy journey. I wish someone was honest about surrogacy and the difference of it, but it doesn't mean it's bad or good. It's still great. It's just very different. As we conclude this video, it's clear that Khloe Kardashian's recent revelations about surrogacy have ignited a firestorm of emotions and discussions among fans. While some admire her honesty, many others believe that discussing such personal and sensitive matters on a reality show can have lasting effects on the children involved. Moreover, fans are questioning the motivations and authenticity of Kim Kardashian's previous support for surrogacy and whether the family truly understands the psychological and emotional aspects involved. What do you think about Chloe's comments on surrogacy being transactional? Kind of a weird experience though, I'm not gonna lie. Like at the end when you're like, okay, okay thanks, bye. bye. <laughs> yeah, and then you like take the kid and you're like, bye, thank you so much. Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker are expecting their baby boy together happily as both decided to not to go on surrogate.